Using the vertical method was an effective way to navigate this sum of two degree two polynomials. Um, how about the difference? If I'm going to subtract these two polynomials, uh, first let me ask uh, somebody who, who got an answer to this problem, what was your answer? When you subtract these two polynomials, the answer 2v squared minus b minus 8, I like the vertical method because it works just as well for subtraction as it does for addition. So in the vertical method, you lined up 3v squared minus 5v minus 2. And underneath it, you lined up v squared uh, minus 4v plus 6. And then the trick is, and this is the part that is easy to screw up, what we want to be doing this time is subtracting down the columns instead of adding down the columns as we were before. And so here's where we have to constantly be vigilant. And again, your little mental narrator needs to be on top of their game when you're looking at these in, or, in order to avoid a sign error. Your mental narrator will read down this first column and say negative 2 minus 6. Negative 2 minus 6 is where you got your negative 8. Minus 8 or in this last term. And then similarly, and it's even more important in this example, negative 5 minus negative 4 which is the same as negative 5 plus positive 4, keep change flip, and negative 5 plus positive 4 is where we get the minus 1. And a coefficient of 1 is invisible, or at least it can be, so we often just write that as minus v. And then lastly, we don't have a coefficient in front of this v squared, so we'll supply 1 to help us with our arithmetic. It's another secret 1. <coughs> And then when I subtract here, 3 minus 1 is where we get the 2 for the coefficient of v squared. So the, yet another reason I like the vertical method is that if we can do it with addition, then we know how to do it with subtraction as well. The only difference is that we're now subtracting coefficients down the columns instead of adding them together.